basically you need to have telescopes that see all different kinds of light if you want to get uh, the full picture of the universe. If you just looked at, say, through only the Hubble telescope, you'd get great images, but you'd really only get one sliver of the story. So lots of things are happen only in X-ray light, and um, Chandra is the best telescope ever uh, to see things in X-ray light. Things like uh, the debris from exploded stars, hot gas, like all throughout the universe, you know, black holes, that's a, I mean, we're a big black hole um, observatory, to supernova remnants, to helping um, prove that dark matter exists, to helping in the search for dark energy. I think the bullet cluster and dark matter, and so basically the bullet cluster is the observation that shows that dark matter is real. It's basically, it's a very a unique image that shows there's like normal matter in pink, and that's from our observations, and then there's this blue stuff, which essentially represents where dark matter is, and you see them that they're separated. And that's, um, that's the first time you kind of see that dark matter is real because it's not where the rest of the stuff is. I've also really liked, Chandra's done some really cool things with observations of the center of our Milky Way. And these are just, um, because the Milky Way, there's a lot of stuff between us and the center of the Milky Way, like dust and gas and all this stuff. If you look at the center of the Milky Way with optical telescopes or infrared telescopes, you see just a bunch of gunk because it's all blocked between here and there. X-rays can penetrate all that, though, so you get to sort of see into the heart of the Milky Way. And there's a giant black hole there, and there's, like, all sorts of crazy stuff going on. So I think that probably dark matter and the, the Galactic Center, Milky Way, are probably my two favorites. Okay. It, there's just a ton. I mean, so basically there's not any one part of astrophysics that Chandra hasn't contributed to right. over the past 10 years. Uh, the way it works is that the telescope is operating in space, and it receives commands from the ground as to w what it should look at. The data gets sent back to the ground. It comes to us. We do, the people here at the Chandra Control Center do a little bit of processing on it, but then generally goes out to the scientists who proposed that particular observation. Right. So we, after the scientist gets it, um, either they give it back to us to make pretty pictures with pretty quickly, or after a year, all the data goes into what's called the Chandra Archive. So we can take that data, put it together in various ways, and make, make the images. There, there are plans to keep it going for as many years as possible, um, and that could be up to 10 years. It could be, up to, it could be longer, actually. The, the thing is that Chandra is in space, and it's by itself. Like we can never go fix it. If something breaks, it breaks. You know, we're not going to be able to go get it. So the hope is that, you know, thus far, it is all, everything on board has performed r remarkably well, and nothing is broken, and it, the spacecraft is in great health. But it's, um, it's one of those things we hope it keeps going for a long time.